Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what a homologous series is. The best way to describe what a homologous series is, is to talk about the definition. So a homologous series is a series of molecules with a similar formula, similar chemical properties and a general trend in physical properties. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use alkanes as a key example of what a homologous series is. So we've got three molecules here, methane, ethane and propane. And if we start off with the similar or the same general formula. And that general formula is CnH2n plus 2. Now what I mean by that is however many carbons you've got, you double it to find out the number of hydrogens and add 2 on. So if we have a look at methane, we've got one carbon. You times 1 by 2, which is 2. You then add 2, you get 4. So my formula is CH4. If we have a look at ethane, we've got two carbons. So you double that to get four, and then you add two, that gets you six. So my formula is C2H6. And then propane, I've got three carbons. You double that, which gives you six, add two, that gives you eight. So my formula is C3H8. And that pattern continues for all of the alkanes. So C4 would be H10, and so on. The second thing to note for a homologous series is as you can see here, they increase by a CH2 every single time. So if you take CH4 and add CH2 onto it, I get C2H6. I do the same between ethane and propane, I get C3H8. So every single time I go up one carbon, I end up with an extra CH2 overall. If we look at the physical properties then, which is the boiling points, density for example, as you increase the chain length, they go up. So methane has a boiling point of minus 161.5 degrees, ethane minus 89.0, so it's gone up, and then propane minus 42 degrees C. So as you can see, as I've gone from one carbon to two carbon to three carbon, the boiling points have gone up, and that's the same with density and melting points. The final thing that makes something homologous is it, they have the same chemical properties. So they all react the same way. So for example, alkanes, all react the same way with oxygen, O2. So if I take methane, for example, and I react it with oxygen, it will combust and it will produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, it doesn't matter what molecule you've got there, if it's a homologous series, so ethane, propane, you react it with oxygen, it will always produce carbon dioxide and water. So they have the same chemical reactions. And that really is all there is to it. So if we have a look at the type of thing that you can be asked on this. So it says look at the diagrams for ethane and propane. So we've got ethane C2H6 and propane C3H8. Describe what makes ethane and propane a homologous series. So what are the four things that make something homologous? Think back to what we just talked about in the video. And then explain which molecule out of ethane and propane has the higher boiling point. That should be nice and easy. So which one is it for one mark and why for the second? And then number three, what is the formula for an alkane with 12 carbon atoms in it for one mark? So again, think through the formula, Cn, H2n plus 2, n is 12, how many hydrogens are you going to have? Pause the video, we'll see how you've done shortly. Okay, let's go through it and see how you've done. So question one, describe what makes ethane and propane a homologous series. Let's start off with the very first one, they've got the same formula of Cn, H2n plus 2. You need to actually put the formula in there. Some exams might give you it for saying the same formula. I'm looking for Cn, H2n plus 2, so try and remember that. Your second mark increases by CH2 each time, so ethane has got C2H6, propane C3H8, the difference between the two is CH2. Your third mark, chain length goes up, boiling points go up. The other thing you could have put there is the physical properties change, so there's a general change between them as the chain length goes up. And then finally, it's your chemical reactions. So you could give a specific example, they both react with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water, or you could just say they have the same chemical reactions. So any two of those four will get you two marks. If we move on to question two, explain which molecule out of ethane and propane has the higher boiling point. It's gonna be the one with the largest chain length, so it's gonna be propane for one mark, and then your explanation, as I've just said, larger chain length or has more carbons in it. Finally, on to question three, what is the formula for an alkane with 12 carbon atoms in it? So the formula is CnH2n plus 2. Again, you've got to remember that. Therefore, if I've got 
N is 12, it means I've got C12. To work out my hydrogens, I times my 12 by 2, which is 24, and then I add 2 on, so that gives me 26. So my overall formula is C12H26. Just one mark for that, I just showed you the working of how you get there. And that's all there is to it for this video. I have got a review question for you, which says look at the chemical formula for methane, ethane and propane. Question one, what's the general formula? Again, should be nice and straightforward now. Number two, explain why methane, ethane and propane are classed as homologous compounds. Exactly the same as what we've just spoken about. Number three, draw the three molecules above. And then, so that's the stick diagrams that we saw all the way back here. And then, Number four, write and draw the formula for butane, which is the next in the homologous series. So how many carbons is it going to have? Four. How many hydrogens? Work it out and draw it. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.